The Galactic Free Press Update. We are arriving at the opening gate for making history. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. With love from the Galactic Center. Greetings, love beings. We are about to roll, ready to roll on out in some big ways as we spiral towards the last two weeks of April with a groundbreaking historic movie, disclosure movement and hearings, and the beginning of a series of triple eclipses. We are arriving at the opening gate for making history on planet Earth equal heart, which will change everything. All throughout 2012, through the many eclipse events, we laid the foundational energies, which will be, in these next two months, ignited. These foundational energies contained the final coatings for the end of the old matrix and the beginning of the true heaven on earth equal heart. It's going to be exciting for those in the oneness energies participating. Real love and truth is stepping forward and is going to light this planet on fire. Yeehaw! Quoted from Carol Ann Sioko. This eclipse portal has three eclipses. Eclipses usually come in pairs, but sometimes they do occur in threes. The portal opens gently, subtly, with a faint partial lunar eclipse on April 25th, and it closes quietly as well with another faint eclipse on May 25th. The annual solar eclipse in the middle of this portal on May 9th is the power pivot. An annual solar eclipse is often called a ring of fire eclipse. A blazing diamond ring of solar fire appears around the sun. It is a significant event both astrologically and astronomically. You may recall the Plydean annual solar eclipse on May 20th of 2012. Many of us are still talking about the consciousness expansion associated with that eclipse. The May 9th eclipse will bring similar shifts in consciousness, as well as ushering in the continuing transformation in the post-2012 era and the rewriting of history. We are now at the opening gate for the hybrid year of 2013. End of quote. When we began April, we shared we would have unprecedented, uh, unprecedented events, and these events are occurring despite any other attempts to distract and pull people from their center. In the past 72 hours, we have seen increased desperation from the denser energies. The truth is, the reign of power over is over. But we will and are witnessing the last attempts to stop this momentum. We were very well aware of this, and we were prepared. There is absolutely no stopping the amount of love energy arriving to this planet no matter how much the old paradigm resists. We have already passed the point of no return. Four hours before the Boston false flag event, a video mes message titled, No Matter What, It's All Happening from the Earth Allies, was posted. We stated we were going to see the last dramas play out to expose the truth with grace. Here is the exact quote from the Earth Ally message. The lights are being turned on. 
like a darkened stage that is now lighting up, and all the players are being revealed on planet Earth. We are beginning to see the last dramas play out that were required within the divine plan to expose the truth with grace. End of quote. And quoted from Blogspot, The Bigger Picture. Disclosure by the people is a done deal. No matter what tricks the Illuminati throw in our path, we will not be stopped, distracted, or diverted. Reality is about to take on a whole new meaning. In fact, human race is about to be redefined. We will have our planet back. And we will proceed to become the galactic beings we have always been but never dreamed because the Illuminati minions stole our dreams. We're about to make history. And the cabal won't be a part of it any longer. Say goodbye to the past, friends. The new humanity is rising up from the ashes of who they had us all believing we were. And we're becoming who we really are. It's in the stars, and nothing can stop it. Ascension is upon us. We are almost at the point of no return, and the minions know it. End of quote. And quoted from Carolyn K. K. A. In the midst of unraveling the darkness, which has lived within your societies for eons of time. And by this, we refer to the cabal and their minions, who have maintained their iron grip over your people, and who have instilled fear, despair, and who have brought great harm in all aspects of the word for much of your history. We ask you to understand the presence of these dark ones is so deeply ingrained within your world. They are desperate and will do anything possible to maintain this and to reestablish their rapidly declining power over you, the collective. This is done with their most potent <clears throat> weapon, which is fear. Many of you are aware within the past few days, more energy downloads are coming into the planet. Love and light are infiltrating your beings in great quantities now, and this will continue. Quite literally, love is sweeping the planet as we speak. The Cabal is also aware of this, and as we have mentioned before, they will stop at nothing to prevent this from occurring. They know love and light is steadily enveloping Gaia once again, yet they persist and are more determined than ever to diminish this light and this great love which is now infiltrating each and every soul upon Gaia. We have mentioned before in various messages, there will come a time when you will be called forward as light workers and light holders, and it will be a time when you will need to gather courage, even if it means facing those remaining fears or doubts still lodged within you, or facing fear from others. And you will be asked to fully embrace your roles as beacons of divine light, love, and grace. That time has come. Are you ready? If you chose to do so, we ask you to step up to the forefront with us now with greater determination than ever before to send love and compassion to all souls who remain trapped within the illusion of duality and fear, and where they will remain as long as the cabal continues to instigate this fear, pain, and suffering, and as long as people continue to succumb to it. We will not deny there are negative forces still active within your society, but we will not and cannot deny there is also an immense amount of love within your planet and among the people of Gaia. Great changes are taking place as well, and this is occurring every single day all across the planet. 
we implore you to remain calm, focused, and centered within your mission as light workers, as your mission and purpose for being here at this time is now unfolding before your very eyes. You are understanding this now, and we ask you to rally together as one body, as a community united with us as we move forward in continuance with your ascension and that of Gaia, and in our greatest efforts to instill more love and light onto your planet and into the hearts of all. When love is present, the dark cannot thrive. The dark ones are highly aware of this. They are also aware their days are numbered. Again, we say to you, gather courage. Ascension is not for the faint of heart, as you well know. You are here because you chose to experience the ascension of this planet. And you chose this time, knowing it would require great commitment of heart and soul far beyond your greatest imaginings. It would also require incredible perseverance on your part, and yes, incredible bravery, for what you have all endured so far has been lifetime after lifetime of trial, despair, and confusion at the hands of those who have ingrained into your very hearts false belief systems, fear, unworthiness, fear, pain, suffering, and grief. You have been brave beyond the call of duty, and we ask you once again, and yes, we will ask many times, for we know you are committed to the ascension of your planet, and with this comes freedom, justice, and equality for all. A bright new planet where you will never be controlled again or persecuted for your beliefs, your ideals, and ways of being ever again. We know your hearts are overflowing with love and strength. So again, we say, do not engage in fear. Do not succumb to the relentless malice of the Dark Ones or any negative energy you encounter. This is what they want, and you must be aware of this. Now is the time to become the beacons of light that you truly are. Now is the time to show the immense quantities of love light, and compassion you have for all of humankind, for your brothers and your sisters everywhere. Gather courage and carry on with your mission of love. Do not falter now, for we need each and every one of you. Use the immense love which lies in your hearts and send it out to families of those who are directly affected. May there be eternal peace within all of you. May the light conquer the dark forces. May the truth be known. Love will pre prevail. And together, united in unity and love, ascension will continue. The light will radiate from every corner of your beautiful planet. And the dark will recede. They will have no choice in the matter. For you... For you see, dear ones, where love thrives, the dark cannot survive. We are the Galactic Federation of Light, and we salute you. We honor you, and we are with you always. Gather courage, dear ones, gather courage. May you go in peace, and we will speak again. End of quote. We have stated many times already this month, as well as from many sources, it is the end of the denser energies on this planet. Change is here, and end is unfolding as a process and a series of events. Full disclosure and full contact is in the destiny of this planet. It will become increasingly apparent we are here with you as more and more is revealed. All 12 million ground crew first contact members are getting into position. Quoted from James Gillian. It has become increasingly obvious the old matrix, the Archon network, the Minion network, 
is coming to a close. Many are hanging on desperately to the old program, driven by wounds, traumas, wrong conclusions from past experiences, and a false sense of self, which was pressed upon them by the Matrix. Some have such an investment into the Matrix, it will take some really hard lessons to snap them out of it back into their godhood. With the new grid, the 5D energies pressing hard upon the earth, along with the veils becoming thinner, it will be harder and harder and harder for the old program to continue much longer. You have seen how most have been manipulated, fooled into focusing on the outer rather than the inner for their love, joy, acceptance, and approval. They have become completely divorced from soul and spirit, trapped in the ego and the false self created by the matrix. We are in a time of choosing. Are we going to choose the upward spiral of ascension into 5D, an internal process, or hang on to the old 3D program, the external out of fear, guilt, and unworthiness, falsely believing in their lies are security. There is no security in hanging on to the old world. Doing so will be the greatest insecurity because it is collapsing. They are clinging, the minions are clinging desperately to the old world, the manipulations and programming of the matrix. Their egos need out of, the, out of fear and insecurity to completely dishonor their own soul and spirit. They actually believe they have control over what is about to happen. Well, here's a little news flash from the world of soul and spirit you will not hear on the lamestream media news. The 3D matrix is over. It's in its death throes. God, creator, spirit is done with it. The earth herself is done with it. Your soul and spirit are done with it. Your ego thinks it will continue business as usual, usual despite the obvious lessons that it is crashing down all around you. Although kicking and screaming desperately trying to continue, the Archon Network, Minion Network is being exposed. The external programming, the obsession with outer appearances and material acquisition as the path to happiness and security is fast coming to a close. This is why the chaos, the great uncovering of everything hidden and what is referred to as the apocalypse, is unfolding all around you. Those resisting this change, those hanging desperately to the ego and external trappings, as their source for security, happiness, acceptance, and approval are having the biggest challenges, suffering the most, yet it is all self-inflicted. In each case, there has been a choice and an action. Each choice and action misaligned with soul and spirit is going to have severe backlashes, sometimes almost instantaneous, with some the attachment to the external is almost like a meth addiction. They just can't kick it. The programming is too severe. The ego is hanging on so tight. They are like the monkey whose hand is in the monkey trap. The ways of the ego, separate from soul and spirit, are over. Only the illusion is left of thinking we can still save this reality. The belief that the external will provide for our security is another illusion about to be shattered. Inner awareness, inner guidance, and acting on that inner guidance is the only real security in the days to come. It is in the wind. Those who are sensitive, plugged into spirit, know this, and are fast leaving the old ways behind, creating a new planet. In some cases, they are having to leave friends, family, and lovers behind, not by their choice, but by the choices and actions of their friends, family, and lovers, to hang on to the old ways and to the old world. 
We cannot choose for them. We cannot take away their lessons, hard as they may be. We can only walk the path of soul and spirit as an example. People are healing. People are awakening. We have to hold them in the light until they can find it for themselves. If your life is in the toilet, your ego drove you there, along with your addictions and attachments, along with the false programming of social consciousness. Only soul and spirit can drive you out. It is time to slow down. Take the time to reflect, pray, and meditate. Get out in nature. She's screaming now. It's time to choose a different path, a different way. Be kind to each other, the planet. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The earth herself is going to do unto those as they have done unto her. The universe is done with the nonsense. There is nowhere to hide. It is time to take responsibility for your choices and your actions, how they affect others and the environment, and clean up the mess. Be well. End of quote. Full disclosure of our presence is near and will unfold as a process of events. We cannot give a timetable. As divine events do not occur linearly, they occur in the energy of eternity, which exists in the present moment of now. We have key events set up, which is about to unfold, and will catapult us into more grandness. The more who awaken, the smoother and quicker this will arrive. The energy transmitted to all of you through our updates, written, and video are receiving the 5D frequency codes. It's up to each of you to release the programming and embrace these codes. This is also occurring through our tiny chat room and at our website, soundofheart.org, which is the Galactic Free Press. As the first contact ground crew team, it is our responsibility to repair the planet and humanity for full disclosure and full contact. Quoted from Ed Komarak, April is shaping up to be a good month for UFO ET disclosure. Many of us in the UFO ET community now realize that appealing to governments to disclose is not going to work and that it's up to an informed public to make the disclosure. We believe that Western governments will not disclose on their own because they are mostly being controlled by a global elite and their corporations. This elite privileged class is composed of European royalty, international bankers, industrialists, and international corporations. On April 21st, Dr. Stephen Greer will be introducing to the public his long-awaited UFO disclosure documentary called Sirius in Los Angeles, California. We expect that Steve will describe in great detail the reasons behind the UFO cover-up in this cloud-financed movie documentary. Therefore, this effort should really help take a bite out of the cover-up. Furthermore, Stephen Greer makes it very clear that it is the global elite who are now the overriding force behind the cover-up. There is controversy surrounding a very small human or humanoid body in the film. In summary, we can do this, folks, if we all work together. It's up to us to tip the balance of power for a full and open disclosure. Every new person that becomes an activist is one more step toward ending this insidious cover-up that is destroying not just human evolution, but even the Earth itself." End of quote. And quoted from Karen Dunhan, As we have stated clearly, the planet Earth and her peoples are being prepared for the disclosure process. The beings that we share this universe with exist at a very high vibration, and the depth of the love that is, they, is what they carry is immense. To interact with these beings 
is to experience intense love, and that is what you are being prepared for at this time. It is something that the human race has been taught does not exist. Many of you at this time may be experiencing various symptoms as this energy comes in. End of quote. Indeed, we have entered into moments where those who are aware of what's happening can truly celebrate. We are here, and we are not going anywhere until this entire planet is awake and we are all reunited as one family. Let us unite in, in the truth, which is love everywhere present, now unfolding on planet Earth equal heart. The moment has come to gather together. It's a yee-haw, quoted from Carolyn K.A. Celebrate love. Celebrate your awakening as you begin to see clearly all who you are and all who, who you are capable of becoming as divine creators and beings of light. We ask you to reach out to your star family, communicate with us, and talk to us. We will hear you. Open your hearts, and we say this to you now with great urgency in our voices. Open your hearts and trust us. The time has come for us to join hands in unity and in love. The time has come for an end of separateness and to rejoice with us in this wonderful reunion with you, our family of light. End of quote. We truly are, in moments of history-making and celebrations, as the lights continue to come on and the intensity of the energy continues. Throughout the entire planet, truths are being revealed, which are leading to grander truths revealed. The light is moving fast. We are in the beginnings of the inner love truths physically manifesting on planet Earth equal heart. High fives, everyone, and here we go. Decreed by heaven, the truth is rolling out in ever-increasing ways. All ground crew members are being prepared at this time as we prepare for history-making events. Disclosure and contact is not far behind all of these events. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Remember, loves, we are not in a time linear schedule. We are in a divine one. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team.